What if someone knew before getting onto the plane, that this plane is going to disappear somewhere, and it's their last journey, off course, taking a seat near to window is way far, no one will even come near to that plane, we humans have become so advanced, but still, we did not know, when and where, we are going to disappear from this world, that's what happened to the flight 739, they did not even know, that they will soon going to meet their end. And their end was written in the skies. Flying Tiger Line Flight 739 was a multi-leg charter service that originated at Travis Air Force Base in the U.S. state of California. Its ultimate destination was the Vietnamese city of Saigon, to which it was transporting 96 soldiers. 93 of these were enlisted with the U.S. Army, with the remaining three being from South Vietnam. There were also 11 crew members on board, giving a total occupancy of 107 people. In 1962, the Vietnam War was far from over. Indeed, having begun in November 1955, it wouldn't come to an end until almost two decades later, in April 1975. The soldiers on board were flying there not to fight, but to help train South Vietnamese forces. The aircraft operating the flight was a Lockheed L-1049H Super Constellation, registered as N6921C. ATDB. Arrow shows that it spent most of its career at Flying Tiger Line, but did also serve Lufthansa on a leased basis. According to the Aviation Safety Network, it first flew in 1957. En route to Saigon, the flight was set to make several refueling stops. These were to take place in Honolulu, Wake Island Guam, and the Philippines, Clark Air Base. The first two of these saw delays due to engine maintenance having to be carried out. Nonetheless, it reached Guam as planned on March 15. After just under two hours on the ground, the Freelance Star reported that the flight departed Guam just before 9 p.m. The estimated duration of its westbound flight to the Philippines was reportedly around eight hours, although the aircraft had enough fuel on board to fly for another hour on top of that. Having climbed to a cruising altitude of 18,000 feet, the aircraft reported its position as being 13 degrees 40 and 140 degrees 0 e just under an hour and a half into the flight. A little over an hour later, it was expected to reach the coordinates of 14 degrees 0 and 135 degrees 0 e. However, radio operators in Guam were unable to contact the flight at this time. It was never seen or heard from again, despite an extensive search operation. After the aircraft failed to arrive at Clark Air Base in the Philippines, the flight was declared as having gone missing on the morning of March 16, 1962. Search and rescue operations began promptly, catalyzed by a Liberian tanker ship's reported sighting of an explosion around the time of the plane's disappearance. However, despite an eight-day search covering hundreds of thousands of square miles of the Pacific Ocean, no trace of the aircraft or its 107 occupants could ever be found. This presumed death toll made it the worst accident involving the Lockheed L-1049 Super Constellation. Various conspiracy theories regarding sabotage have arisen, the most reliable of all is that the plane was carrying a large number of C-4 and other explosive materials with it, and due to some fault these explosives blew up the plane, but the flight's exact fate will likely remain unknown. Let's hear from you, what you think, what had happened to the plane? Mention your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you very much for being there with us, hope to see you in the next amazing video.